Good morning, YouTube mine exploring fans. Tom and Julie here. We're out in the Jeep on the trail again. There's a road going up that mountain. I don't know if you can see it. That might be where we're going to uh, find the mine that we're after today. So let's go see what happens. up in a wash. So here we're at a split in the road. We're going to take the upper one. It climbs up to a bunch of mines up in here. and We should have some good exploring today. This is what we gotta go up. It's rough. Jeep, go. <laughs> we made it. <laughs> Thank goodness. <laughs> We're still plugging along here, going up a wash now. I see some mines up in the distance here, not too far. There are about six mines up this canyon right here. This is an old head frame. Quite a simple one. A slight incline on the shaft. Shaft is in good shape still. No ladders. It goes down a little ways and then goes straight down. It goes a little ways at an angle. There's another mine across the wash here. Up here, kind of jammed up. Part of an old chute there. Here's the shaft. Here's the mount for a hoist, I'm guessing, or a winch. Continuing on this rough road. Alright, let's look down this shaft once. 
got a ladder. Can you come a little closer, please? Boy, that goes straight down after a while, doesn't it? Wow. It's an old ladder. I'm past the broken rung anyway. So I'm part way down this ladder. You can see it's all jammed up just right down below me. Yep, that's all there is to this one. I'm sure it used to be quite a shaft, but not anymore. I'm only down here about 25 feet. Okay, let's go find something else. Here we've arrived at the mandatory can dump. This is an old one. They are all rusted out. You usually don't see them that rusted. This is looking back at the Jeep and that structure, the hill we came down. These are some tanks here, some old wooden tanks, wooden style slat tanks. There are some, it must have been a mill here because this is all millings, this red stuff that we're walking on. The tanks are full of dirt. But I like these old wooden slat tanks. Pretty nifty. Uh, looks like we're going up the hill here. Just a plain rock portal here, no timbering. Here we're picking up some track and a water line. Got a nice curve to it. And then it's got an immediate curve to the other, to the right. The other way. Looks like a little side drift here. I don't know if they lost the vein or if they exhausted it that way and came back here, but the tracks go to the right here. Here's an incline shaft with a windless frame on it. You can see up here is the vein. And they followed it down and it went right in line with this shaft. Here are the windless supports. Hmm. There aren't any ladders and it looks it looks like it might be open past this first platform. 
Well, let's continue on and see what we find. Okay, here's a nice chute. Still in good shape. Is it open? Yeah, well, no. Nope, it's not open. So the track itself is gone, but the tires are still here. Let's stay in the... No, I think just to go and check out. Oh, it's a chute. Yeah. It's a chute with a block behind it, blocker. It's just a stove up here. Okay. Okay, we've come up to a head frame and a little hoist room. You can tell by all the oil on the floor. The ladder's not in the greatest shape. I wouldn't say it's unusable though. You have to get past about the but 12, 15 feet down, it's got a few rough spots. Somebody probably rolled a rock down in there or something fell in there. And then after that, it goes down. It appears to flatten out for a second, and then it gets steeper again. So this is looking straight up above the shaft again. They follow this vein down. You can see that up there it's blue, red. All right, let's continue on, Julie. We come up to a chute right away again. Pretty jammed up. What's that hanging there? Some fabric, huh? There you go, there's your old jeans. Looking straight up. And here we have a ladder going up. Oh. Apparently not very sturdy if that you one. just <laughs> you just pulled it right that off. One's just it's kinda sitting there. <laughs> That's just gonna go into this little pocket here. Well, let's see where this piece goes. There's been a fire here at one time. Another shoe, the track starts up again. Is that open? Yeah. Oh yeah, it sure is. There must be an upper level here. Look at the colorful vein right here. That's pretty cool. Oh man, she's in here. Yeah, very blue. It's really blue. Oh boy. No, look at two right there. Yeah. That's pretty. Very nice. Another shoot, another drop off, watch out ahead of you. There's a bridge here. 
Do you trust it? No ladders here, it goes right on down though. I'm guessing there were ladders at one time. So this is some graffiti here of Emil Westman from, looks like February or something anyway, of 1934? 31. 31. And then there's some stuff up here too, look at this. I don't know if that's more modern or what, it looks like a dog's butt or a guy. Look out below it says. Alright, let's keep going here, see what happens. It says no bear head. It does? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ouch. Sign said bad air ahead or no air. Julie's got her oxygen monitor on, so we'll let her go. There's the vein again. Here's uh, Hank. I don't know what he's doing. He's got some kind of tool in his hand. Stoked room. Here's the what's left of the vein here. Julie's doing the limbo or the crab crawl. Let me check it out first. Okay. Oh, it's just a stoked room. Oh, Is it? Okay, that doesn't go very far. Does it get big again? Just right here, and then it gets low again. I'm guessing that's about the end of it, because it's really getting hot in here. There's a little stoked room here. It's hot and humid. report. Does it? No cave in back there. Goofy graffiti. Well, there was track in here. Mm -hmm. Still pretty warm though, isn't it? Oh man. It's humid. Yeah, it's humid. How much timbering for support though is there? Mm -hmm. Just for shoots. Hmm. 
Yeah, we're still rolling, huh? Mm -hmm. I don't see the vein anywhere anymore. No. Unless it's right overhead here. Hey, we found the face of it. Right there. And it's hot back here. All right, well, that's that. We made it. I can't read all this. It's part of somebody's clothing, like a part of a coverall, maybe. Or, well, I think it's a pair of arms. No body with them, though. Quite a bit of fabric in this one. Crossing the bridge. Here you can see this blue and green up here again. So this does the same thing that that other shaft did. It went down, it follows, you can see the contact zone on this big slab here. Uh, it says up here that it goes 156 feet down. So, and then it gets steeper about uh, like 60 feet down. That must be the way the vein goes. This is the most colorful portion that we've seen this today. I like when you see the colors like that. So I got my spotlight out here. This ladder goes down. It flattens out a little bit and then it drops off again when it, as it goes out of sight there. So, it doesn't look to be in terrible shape except for right up on the top here. About 12 feet, 15 feet down. Okay, that's the way we just came from. That's probably the main part of the mine. But there is also this little drift to the left here. Let's go see where this goes. Doesn't show evidence of there being track in here, so maybe it doesn't go very far. It's getting lower and lower. What do you see? It just pinches off up here. Oh, I'm not going to look at it. Oh, yeah. Well, here's the inside of the old cabin. There's a wood burning stove, a little counter, a sign, a few dollars. Seven dollars, eight dollars. Surprised that's still there. Nice stonework, though. 
You got yourself a Coleman stove, a saw, not bad.